Okay, we're rolling. Where was Steve Dallas, developer of the electric car? Yes, 2010 development of what a car would look like if we had to develop a car now, moving forward. That car would be all electric, that car would be two seat, that car would have speed limitations, and it would be very fun. So, Toronto Electric has taken the last six years to develop the A to B. And as you can see by this uh, prototype, we are finished. We are now driving this on the road and testing it thoroughly for its characteristics and we'll see how the car functions. Can we have a quick uh, Oddly enough, uh, look? it has beat all of our expectations. It's, uh, we're doing a little myth busting as we go here. Uh, we've learned that a slow charge is actually the best charge. It keeps the battery in its uh, peak state. A fast charge might not do that. I travel an average of 50 kilometers a day. Whenever I'm stopped, I plug it in. I've never run out of power. Ever. We have a fully programmable product. Completely and absolutely programmable. Uh, your speed is controlled, your torque is controlled, even the district that you're driving in uh, is controlled. We have ways to communicate that with GPS, Wi-Fi, and 3G wow. up to the real world. And we look at how the battery is functioning within the car, real time on the screen. Also charging, we can see that information too. So we're looking at a fleet application where employees will be using this within a company environment. Wow. And that company obviously wants to be a little greener than they are now. <laughs> obviously in Canada you're allowed to make one, you make a second one and a whole pile of paperwork comes along. I'm not going to go there at this time I'm having more fun just driving this particular car around. We are actually now charging the car with uh, solar energy, so I'm storing solar energy at work. And I'm just plugging in awesome. and using that energy from solar. So. I want to take about, for my style of driving, six 200 watt panels to keep me with enough energy on this car in a daily basis. Very nice. Everything you see we've created. I gotta pay for gas. Brakes, wheels, obviously. Off the shelf items. But the entire body is one piece body, created right here in Canada. The chassis is chromoly and carbon fiber, created here in Canada. Oh, the body's fiberglass? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the first one's always fine. Okay. And we created the mirrors, we created everything you see. Uh, it's a Azure Dynamic AC24 electric, electric traction system. And it is a Delta Q charger. And the only part coming from the United States of America is the battery system, which is a valence technology. Um, I guess, can we look under the hood? We can look at it. Awesome. We can look at actual hovercraft. Like the hovercraft. Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> so it's a nice small package. We created two zones within the car. This zone here, which is going to house the electrics themselves, uh, the inverter, the motor gearbox, auxiliary battery to run the auxiliary components. Then the other zone we created was under the floor for the battery pack. And what we're trying to achieve there is no matter which type of traction system you have, or battery system, it'll fit in those zones. So we've got some flexibility. Mm -hmm. Using good old standard brakes. I like good old standard brakes. As you can see, there's a full bird cage built within this car. This car is designed for a 250 mile an hour impact. Wow. According to the race car guys. No kidding, wow, beautiful. So it's, it's not really a crumple car as it is. It's a safe car. But, uh, you don't want the battery pack flying around inside the car. It won't crumple. What does the battery pack weigh? 321 kilograms. Half the weight of the car. Wow. The car won't roll over because the battery pack is under your feet. Right, oh, oh well, yeah. The is nice right. and low. Nice, yeah. Yeah, we did a little bit of over-engineering. Wow. Yeah. We don't mind over-engineering things. <laughs> we got a 3.4 strap harness, all electronic. Keep you in the seat. The seats are designed for side impact. 
so if you do get hit, you won't be leaving the seat. Sweet. Ever. Have a look inside there. When you open the doors, the electronic set comes on. And it's waiting for you to log in. Everything's on touch screens. All of your information is in behind there once you log on. LED dash as well. Sweet. Lots of room for a six foot person, but just six feet. Nice. I'll just do a, a loop around. What's the turning radius? That's a very good question. Yeah. Don't know. No. <laughs> and, and top speed, did we go over that? Uh, programmable. I programmed it for 99 at the moment. And that's because it's 99% politics and 1% car. So uh, what, could it, what could it do, do you think? Uh, this particular uh, drivetrain at 12,000 RPM will do 115 kilometers an hour. Simple 10 to 1 ratio gearbox. Very, very simple design. We did a little, there's no belts, no pulleys, no hoses, no nothing. The only thing I have is power windows. And, and that's all that's going to consume any energy in this car. And horsepower? Approximately 60. 60. Yeah. <laughs> Made in Canada. Yeah, we can do it. Awesome. We can do it really well, actually. For some reason, we don't do it. Why don't we do it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy here who Great. flies electric planes. Great. Yeah. Thanks very much, Steve.